Hi guys, today in this video we will learn to create a drop down menu for user profile. If I click on this profile icon, it will open a drop down menu and if we click again, it will hide this drop down menu. I have added some hover effect in this menu link. When I move cursor over this link, the font gets bold and the arrow icon moves right side. We will make this user profile menu design using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have one index.html file and one CSS file. I have another folder called images and in this one you can see one profile image and some icons. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now I will open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect HTML and CSS file. Now we will come in the body tag and here we will create one div with the class name hero. Next we will add the CSS for this one. So add this class name here in this CSS file with a dot and here we will add the width and minimum height. Then we will add the background and one color code. Then we will add the color. It will be the text color. After that open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this plain color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page. Now again come back to the HTML file and here we will create one nav tag and in this one we will add one image. Write the file path images slash logo.png so it is a logo and here we will add the class name logo. Let's duplicate this line and we will add another image. So here we will add the another file name user.png which is the user's photo. Then we will add the class name user pick. Within these images we will add ul, li and a tag and here we will add the anchor text home. Let's duplicate it and we will change the link text. It is features then about and contact. So we have added four clickable link here. Now you can see these things on the web page. Next we will add the CSS for the navigation bar which is nav tag. So here we will add this nav in the CSS file and here we will add the background one dark color here and after that we will add the width for this nav bar. Then we will add some space inside this nav and display flex so all the contents will be side by side align items center and justify content space between. Then position it will be relative. You can see these contents side by side and the dark color for the navigation bar. Here we have the class name logo and user pick. So write this class name here in this CSS file and for this logo we will add the width. And again write the another class name user pick and here also we will add the width. Then we will add the border radius so it will be a circle if we add 50% then cursor pointer and margin from the left side to add some space. You can see small size for the logo and user pick. Now we will add the CSS for the link text. So it is in the UL, LI and A. So let's come back to the CSS file. Here we will add nav UL. Width will be 100% and text align right. So it will be in the right side. Again write nav UL then LI. For the list we will add display. Display will be inline block. So it will be horizontally aligned. Then list style none and margin. Then we will add the same thing and a tag for the link. Here we will add the color and text decoration none. Now you can see these links looks good. After adding this we have to add some sub menu that will be hidden. So let's come back and here before closing of the snap tag we will add a space and here we will add one div with the class name sub menu wrap. Inside this div again we will add one div with the class name sub menu. And here let's add another div with the class name user info. In this user info we will add one image and the name of the user. So here is the image. Then we will add the name in h3. After adding this again come back to the website. You can see the user's name and image here. 
we have to change its position so copy this class name submenu wrap write it here in the css file here we will add the position absolute top 100% and right 10% then width 320 pixel so you can see the changed position for the image and name now come back and we will copy this class name sub menu for this sub menu we will add the background so the background will be white then we will add some space inside this box padding and then some margin 10 pixel so you can see white background here now again come back to the html file you can see this class name user info so write this class name here in the css file and here we will add display flex align items center then again write the class name here we will add h3 and font weight will be 500 then we will add user info img for the image let me correct this spelling u as er user and here also for this image we will add the width it will be 60 pixel then border radius will be 50 percent and margin from the right side so you can see the name and image side by side after that we have to add one horizontal line so let's come back to the html file and after this div we will add one hr you can see this line here so next we have to add some space and change the colors so right here the submenu class name then hr here we will add the border 0 and height 1 pixel then we will add the width 100% and background in this background we will add one color code then margin 15 pixel from top and 10 pixel from bottom it looks good next we will add some links so let's come back and after this hr we will add one a tag and in this a tag we will add a class name submenu link inside this link there will be one image so write img tag write the file path of the image it is profile.png then we will add one text in p tag it is edit profile and again we will add one span and inside this span we will add one arrow let's duplicate this and we will change the image and link text so here we have added the settings.png and the text is settings and privacy then the image is help.png and the text is help and support then the last one is logout.png and the text is logout after updating this come back to the website you can see the image and links here now we have to add the css so just come back and you can see we have added the class name submenu link so write this class name here in the css file and for this one we will add display display will be flex and align item center then text decoration none let's add the color it will be the text color and margin 12 pixel from top and bottom write this class name again then write p for this p we will add the width it will be 100 percent so the arrow will be in the right side you can see the arrow in the right side next we have to add the css for the image so here again we will add the class name then write img width will be 40 pixel and one background color then we will add the border radius 50 percent and padding 8 pixel then margin from the right side this image size is perfect next we will add the css for the arrow which is in the right side so let's come back and here we will add the class name submenu link and span so for this span we will set the font size so the font size is 22 pixel so it looks good next we will add the hover effect so let's copy this one and here we will add hover span then write transform translate x 5 pixel so it will move right side by 5 pixel and in this sub menu we will add the transition transform 0.5 seconds so it will take 0.5 seconds to move this arrow here we have the css for p so let's add it here then we will add hover p let's increase the font weight it will be 600 so whenever we will take cursor over the text it will be 
bold and the arrow is moving right side by 5 pixel. So this hover effect is also working fine. Next we have to hide this menu. It is visible right now. So let's come back and uh, we have added sub menu wrap here. So inside this one we will add max height. Let's add the 400 pixel and then we will add overflow hidden. So let me change it to 0. If it is 0 you can see the menu is hidden, sub menu is hidden and if we write 400 it will be visible. So now we have to make it 0 for now and we will make it 400 by javascript. So let's add transition here, max height, it will be 0 0.5 seconds and after that let's add some space, write this class name again, then write dot any new class name, open menu. Here we will add max height. 400 pixel so we have added 400 pixel but still it is hidden because this open menu is not applied in the html file so we will apply this class name through javascript so let's come back and here in this html file we have to add click event on this image which is user pick so here we will add on click equal to one function name toggle menu and we have to display and hide this div which is sub menu wrap so inside this one we will add one id sub menu. After adding this id let's come back to the bottom above this closing body tag we will add a script tag and here we will add let sub menu equal to document dot get element by id and we have added the id called sub menu. Next we have to define that function that we are calling on click. So here we will add function toggle menu then we will add sub menu dot class list dot toggle and write that class name open menu. So whenever we will click on the user profile, it will add this class name and if it is already there, it will remove this class name. So after adding this, let's check our website. If we click here, you can see this drop down menu is visible. If I click again, it is hidden. And this drop down menu is coming down and going up with some animation. Right now this text is very big. So let me come back to the HTML file and here we have added h2. So let me change it to h3. And uh, after adding this, let's check our web page. So this font size is good. So finally we have completed this user's profile drop down menu with animation and hover effect. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.